Bubble watch here on Wednesday morning, and if you're a fan of a team that had a great opportunity against a guaranteed tournament squad, your team didn't take advantage of it. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horwitz, glad to be with you on this edition and really three categories of bubble teams last night. Ones that are now probably out, ones that still have an opportunity but lost a big game last night, and squads that went head to head. And let's start with the latter, and I think it's safe to say that Marquette has played its way into the tournament. A 21 point win against Louisville. That's nine wins in the last 10 for the Golden Eagles. Another victory against an RPI top 50 and 11 conference wins. Clemson's probably safe as well. Jerry Palm had them in as an eighth seed on Monday night in his latest projecting the field. And after beating Georgia Tech at home, Oliver Purnell's team now a five and four record against the RPI top 50 and improved its already good computer numbers. How about the two that lost those games? And well, certainly they can play their ways in or out. Louisville with an opportunity to beat Syracuse for a second time this season. That comes this weekend. But the Orange really the only guaranteed tournament team that the Cards have beaten. As for Georgia Tech, Jerry Palm had them as a 10 seed on Monday. Other predictors have them as high as a 7 or in the 8-9 game, but one way to make sure that you get in, knock off a team also trying to get in. They have that opportunity Saturday at home against Virginia Tech. Meanwhile, Florida Tuesday night in that category of bubble teams with a chance to beat a guaranteed squad had Vanderbilt at home. Probably would have been in with a win at a second half lead but lost by four. Jerry Palm had them as a 9, others a 10 or even 11 seed heading into the week. Here's probably the situation, which of course fluid based on what everyone else does this week, but either become the first team this season to win at Kentucky, that's Sunday on CBS, or get deep, and I mean really deep, into the SEC tournament to have a shot at the NCAA tournament. Meanwhile, Illinois most likely in that same boat. 73-57 loss at Ohio State, the now number one seed in the Big Ten tournament. It's not a bad loss, it's just that the Fighting Illini need good wins because they weren't in Jerry Palm's field this week or even one of the first four out. Now, if you look at the Gators and the Illini, the numbers aren't comparable. Florida with much better computer numbers. The one difference, though, Illinois has four wins against the RPI Top 50, including Vanderbilt, who swept Florida. The Gators have three wins against the RPI Top 50, but just one since beating Michigan State back on November 28th. Here's the teams you could probably put on the out category unless they go, again, very deep in conference tournaments. Minnesota just obliterated by a sub-500 Michigan team, swept this season by the Wolverines, and now five losses to teams with RPIs below 100. Cincinnati, a great effort against Villanova, but now 7-10 and 10 in the Big East and have lost 6-8. of eight. Still a chance, though, to help itself Saturday at Georgetown but even that may not be enough. UTEP Tuesday night winning Conference USA outright for the first time. 13 straight wins in the AP Top 25, but that strength of schedule may be, and that's just a big maybe, an issue if they don't win the Conference USA tournament. Played just two teams in the RPI Top 50. They split them. Get another chance Saturday against UAB. And the Blazers, a big game tonight against Memphis. Jerry Palm has them in this week as well, but right at that 11 line. Meanwhile, a lot of head-to-head -head between tournament hopefuls. Wake at Florida State. Deacons have lost three in a row. UConn at Notre Dame and the Irish trying for a third straight RPI Top 50 victory. Charlotte and Rhode Island in the Atlantic 10. They've each dropped four of the last five, and the loser may be done. Virginia Tech, Mississippi State, they need to beat NC State and Auburn respectively. San Diego State also on that list. Some have the Aztecs as the last team in right now. Others on the outside. It's not a quality win if they get it tonight against Colorado State, but it's a game that they cannot lose. If we didn't hit your team, check out the Bubble Watch page here on CBSSports.com and watch previews of tonight's featured bubble game between UConn and Notre Dame. I'm Jason Horwitz, 12 days and counting. Take care, folks.